All right, so my first stop was, or my first stop is the inn. Let's see what I can make. Noble benches, sink, I don't have enough for, I need a bear pelt for the counter. And bar stools, darn. <gasps> There's a bear pelt outside. That's fine, I can do that later. I'll do that next. Um, noble benches, sure. Uh, sink, we can pass on the sink for now. I need two bear pelts for the main floor, tables and chairs. Okay, got a shelf. Let's do that. Oh, and this is exterior stuff, so I can do a porch area. <gasps> porch area! Property fence. Sconces. Let's do sconces. I need two linen wrap for the upper table's porch area. Um, ooh, mead barrels to the porch area. Yes, yes. Noble benches, sure. I'm so excited for this. I like just building stuff. I don't know. I need... Oh, I need more goat horns, damn it. Uh, fireplace. Good thing I bought that stone then. So I need linen wrap. Linen wrap. Goat horns. I'll do the property fence, why not? Um, yeah, random benches too, why not? Might as well. Okay, so I guess I might as well add the sink. I'll have to get the bear, I have to get three bear pelts. And some linen wrap. Ooh, look, this place is starting to come together, this is nice. This is very nice, alright, let's go outside. Okay, so, ooh! Oh, it's... It's coming together so nicely. I don't have enough stuff, though. Like, I can't even finish building one building. I'm gonna go to other buildings, and it's gonna be the same thing where it's like, you can build a couple things at a time. I know I'm carrying too much. At least this isn't Fallout 4 survival mode, where you take damage if you're... over-encumbered for more than, like, two seconds, and you goddamn shit yourself. Oh, hi! Grace, give me a second. I just... I need to rip the skin off this bear. Real fast. It's fine. I hope that it's not going to be like, you have a... Did you need something? I hope the game's not going to be like, you have a cave bear pelt, not a bear Take pelt. A Which, it's Skyrim, so I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Bear pelt. Let's buy... Damn it, I'm going to run out of money again. You need a lot of money, is what I'll say. You need a lot, a lot of money. But here's the thing, I'll start making money from all these the stores and everything, so I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe just stop cheating in money. I think I'll stop cheating in money. And I'll just go, from now on, I'm just going to go I off of what time. all of my businesses make once I finish renovating the inn. The inn looks so nice now because it's got the sconces on the outside, it has... The property fence- oh, the property fence encloses the, um... Wait, the property fence includes the stalls. I mean, they're right next to each other, so I guess it makes sense, yeah. Alright, let's, uh, just slowly wander on in. Okay, so... First floor workbench, let's do... This. And, damn it, now I need more firewood. I'm already out of firewood. Son of a bitch game. I need firewood for everything, too. I can make the chandelier, though. It's good. Yes? Uh, I need more firewood for the curtains. Damn it, that's the most essential item in the world. Firewood. Oh, <gasps> look how cozy this is. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Also, I will say, I don't think the... Bottom floor is exactly the same as yeah. Uh, the B and Barb. Like the layout looks different because this would be like an enclosed room. Either way, still similar and it makes sense because we are still in the rift. Okay, so I want to see where the 
chest is. What's that button what do? do? What's that button do? I want to push the button. Activate. <gasps> oh, fireplace. Divine smile on you, friend. Where's the chest? Hmm? There's a chest where I can collect my gold. Do you have any gold yet for me? That'd be great. All right. Oh. Let's go find this goddamn chest. So I haven't found the chest yet, but there is a basement workbench, so let's see if we can do anything with this. Barrels, wardrobe, all needs firewood. All needs firewood. I can make the chandelier though, that's good. I can make the rug. I can make the kitchen chandelier. Uh, another rug for the kitchen. Alright. I need firewood for the doors. I need more leather strips for the rugs. Firewood. I don't have enough gold to hire the chef. I only have 33 gold. I'm a poor bastard right now. Look at me. There's nothing in this room, whatever it is. Alright, yep. Let's just, uh, oh! What is that? Got a little hatch right there. Tunnels. Alright, there's tunnels underneath my inn, apparently. I'll check that out later. I don't know where the, the property chest is, because the chests in each of the buildings is how you get your gold from people. Because you get gold from citizens, because, you know, they're paying rent. You get gold from businesses, because they're paying you upkeep. Well, I guess that's also rent. Yeah, it would still be rent. I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you doing staring at the ceiling, yes. Randolph? What do you need? I don't know what I need. I need you to stop staring at my ceiling. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking around a little bit. So, I'm upstairs now. I have a feeling I won't be able to build anything here except for maybe... ...chandeliers. I can't even- Oh, I'm running out of chandel- I'm running out of, uh... ...goat horns, too. Yeah, I'm gonna be here forever, just, um... ...waiting for more gold so I can actually do stuff. I might not be over-encumbered soon, that's kinda nice. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I can't hire an innkeeper yet? Darn. Alright. Well, still don't know where this chest is. I swear, I haven't seen it at all. I don't know where it is. It's probably just one of these random rooms. Come here, chest. I'm looking for you. Nope. Alright. So I guess I'll just wait till I get more gold, and then I'll come back. So I'm back in the inn. A couple days have passed in-game. I collected the gold that I earned from the, uh, from the Blackthorn Trader, from the General Trader, where you build everything. And I read the mod page, and it says you have to hire the innkeeper first in order for the chest uh, in the inn to spawn, where you get gold from. What are you doing just standing or clapping to yourself? The Damn bard's downstairs, ma'am. You drunk asshole. At least that's shut her up. That's good. So now good the chest afternoon. should be... There's the chest. What do I have? 600 gold. There you go. I'm making my money back real fast. And by real fast, it's like not really that fast because... Well, I spent, what, like 40,000 on this town already? I mean, I know I'm not going to make my money back overnight. I'm just saying it's going to be... It's going to take a little while. Alright, so this is... The Elixirs. Yeah, I think the real trick right now is just hiring everyone. Now that I have enough money, I should be able to hire... Alchemy Merchant with Daughter. Oh yes, I really want to hire the Daughter too. The Daughter is crucial to the whole operation. Didn't you know that? I knew that. Need something? Alright, now I'm out of firewood completely. Hmm? Don't look at me like that. I didn't want to hire you. Oh, there you are. You have no counter. Jules! What do you need? I need hmm? to finish building your home. Um, oh, I can turn on everyone's fireplace. It's nice and warm here. You're welcome. Need something? Yes? So they immediately have gold for me. I can't really complain about that. Like, even though I haven't furnished their homes or anything, they're like, here's my money! I'm like, alright, I'll take it. I just realized I never hired Nico either, and by hired I mean 
asking to move into my town. Hire oh, he's the groundskeeper. So maybe he's not going to pay me at all. It's very possible he's not going to pay me. Oh well. Alright, had a feeling I can't get anything. I can't build anything. Oh! Oh yeah, so he pays rent since... Okay. It makes sense he would pay rent. He still lives here. Need something? Uh, nope, Nico, I'm good. We'll, we'll go bowling later. Don't you worry, buddy. I promise. Bowling for everyone. This is... Farah's Pelts and Hides. Thing. Oh, wait, who the hell are you? Get out of here. This is Farah's house. Let's hire the hunter. And... The Pelts Merchant. Okay, yeah, no, I... I'll probably do some of this stuff I've been hunting and fishing off screen. In these for years. Like some of the actual building I might do off screen and just show you what everything looks like afterwards just because I feel like that might be kind of boring otherwise and I'm like, well, you're just going to watch me go through menus. It's great, isn't it? It's not like Then again, people loved the um anyone. the you build your own town mod, so this is very reminiscent of that. I suppose. I like it too. It's just well, build your own city, not build your own town. This is build your own town. Let's hire this asshole too while we're at it. Hire oh, I can hire two. One for outdoors and one for indoors. Alright. Huh? huh? What? You huh? hired me? What's going on here? I'm stupid. Alright, not bad. I think that's all of... That's pretty much everyone that I would have to hire, I think. I might have to hire another, like, stall keeper or something. Oh, there's the chickens! Oh, he's protecting He's protecting the chickens. I love it. Is that a graveyard up there? We just have a little graveyard? Oh! Alright, there's just a... Uh... Okay. Oh, alright. Yeah, no, it's great. Floating weapons, my favorite. Guess there was a battle here? Did you kill those soldiers, ma'am? Did you do this? I didn't tell you to do that. What are you doing here? Oh, the farmhouse. Alright, yeah, I hadn't hired the farmer. So, see, I didn't hire someone yet. I didn't hire the miners either. Because I don't know where the mine is still. All right, that's my next job. Find yes. the mine, hire the miners, and profit, obviously. I still haven't been to the manor either. Should probably do that sometime soon. This is what, the mill? Yeah, that would be the mill. Where's the goddamn mine? I'll be back. Okay, I found the mine. There it is. And it looks like I don't even need to go inside. I can just hire the miners from here, hopefully. Hire miners. 450 gold. Fine. Have some candelabras. Have some more candelabras. And have some torches. So I need clay. I need firewood. Lots of firewood. Lots and lots of firewood. And leather strips. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to buy all the materials I need, and then I'll start building stuff. I'll leave some of it in. I'll kind of pick and choose, I guess. We'll see. I'll figure it out. What did the Imperial soldiers do? They just kind of threw their stuff and died? I guess. I don't know. You know what? I'm not too worried, because no one in my town has died, so we're all good. So I decided to stop recording just because of how much time it was going to take to build everything and what I did was I essentially built stuff in every house and every structure uh, while off screen and I'll kind of be showing that on screen now some of the different buildings how it looks now now that everything's furnished I didn't build everything in every place necessarily just because I didn't feel some of the things were necessary but it's just kind of a general idea of how things look uh, once you've made improvements once you've hired all the citizens etc etc I think everything in the mod just looks really great everything's really well done the amount of detail 
um, that's added without being too overbearing just in terms of decoration is really nice. It's a nice balance and I really, really like it a lot. The final thing that I'll show off is what Blackthorn Manor looks like without any decorations at all. Just a very quick sort of overview of some of the main rooms. Uh, just because I realized that I hadn't gotten in there while recording. And now that it has been fully furnished, or mostly furnished, I figured I would give the actual sort of walkthrough. So we have... I did hire a steward. Hello. Belle. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Yeah, that's what I want all my stewards to say to me. Hey, how you doing? You're gonna die today? It's like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. So I believe this is the study here. Oh, okay, that's awesome. You can get all the profits right here. That's actually incredibly useful. I This is literally my first time going through the house. I guess I didn't outfit the smithing supplies. I thought I did. That or they're just not paying me. I'll have to go beat them up later. Okay, so definitely making my money back now. That is pretty fantastic. Okay. So yeah, this is the study. I do like that you can collect all of the rent here because um, otherwise it's just kind of very easy to forget who you collected from, who you didn't collect from. So I do like that a lot. That leads outside. Never mind that. Got a little bedroom here for four people in case, I guess in case I have guests over and they don't want to go home. I'm like, no, go home. I'm not allowing you to stay I... here. Get, a, get out of my house. Come on. Got the little dining room, I got my tables and everything. We have the kitchen, where I hadn't seen any ovens in the rest of the mod, and I was I was really hoping that I could get an oven at least in my house, because that was one of the cooler parts of Hearthstone, I thought. I realize that's not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, I liked the food options that came with uh, making an oven from Hearthfire, so I was very glad to see it as an option in my house. Downstairs is just kind of a smithing area if you want to do anything like that. I didn't bother really adding the smithing stuff because I didn't have the materials to make any of it. And, I mean, there's a blacksmith, there's a leathersmith. I, there's enough places for me to go in the town without just doing it in my own home. Don't hump at me. You're my steward, goddammit, lady. And uh, this is my room. We have... I didn't look at this yet, but this is... It's a read me. Uh, these activators are to disable and enable all the various workbenches along with a cheat supply containing all the building supplies needed to complete Blackthorn. Uh, remember, press each button twice when first using, then only one press is needed afterwards. Okay. And that's if you had wanted to cheat and just kind of do everything uh, without doing it on your own. Which I realize I could have done, but I figured, hey, I'll do it. I realize I cheated with the money stuff, but all the materials I did all on my own, which I'm proud of. This is kind of a trophy room. Um, so for example, this is for just unique, uh, weapons and stuff, which I like. That's kind of cool. That's obviously the master bed. There's also a children's room in case you want to do, like, Hearthfire adoption. So I think that it's either this room or the other one. Yeah, okay, it would be this one, I think. These beds look smaller. How many children am I adopting? Jesus Christ. No, thank you. I'm fine. I'm not running an inn here. Or is that the children's room? Nope, this is the bath. See, I can take a bath. I can sit in the stone chairs. You can get a shower in here, which I didn't do just because materials. Okay, awesome. So I think that's pretty much it for Blackthorn, a buildable town in the Reach. Uh, mod is absolutely fantastic. I do enjoy mods like this. And this one in particular was really well done. Uh, like the mod author says, it's not meant to be done in a day. So the fact that I did it in a day, you know, I... I essentially just sat down and powered through it all, but, you know, no pressure to do that if you're doing this mod. Lot of fun, though. Really enjoyed it. Really like how the town is laid out, how it turned out, etc. Uh, design's great. I like it a lot. And I do like that it uses, you know, essentially buildings that belong in the rift. So it is, you know, keeping in tone with uh, the design that should be used for the town. Who's that? You there. Hello? Halt, sir! Is this another Stormcloak? Oh, he's a hunter. Over your battles, oh, he's one of the hunters. Okay. All right, I'll see you. So, thank you guys for watching uh, this installment of Skyrim Saturday Special Edition. I'll be doing another Special Edition mod next week. So, hope to see you then. And uh, have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.